Hello class. Welcome to lesson two of the topic rocks. Today we'll be looking at types and formation of rocks, specifically sedimentary and metamorphic rocks. The subject is called biology and I'm Ms. Sijenia and Tiamensa. Let's begin. So at the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe how sedimentary and metamorphic rocks are formed, characteristics of sedimentary and metamorphic rocks, as well as importance of rocks in general. And we have our key terms, accumulation, accumulation, hardening, hardening, sediment, sediment, non-crystalline, non-crystalline, metamorphic, metamorphic, sedimentary, sedimentary, intense, intense, pressure, pressure, temperature, temperature, fossil, fossil, stratified, stratified, strata, strata. So these are our key terms. At the end of the lesson, you should familiarize yourself with these words. And let's zoom in into our class. So when we talk about sedimentary rocks, I believe that in our previous lesson, we spoke a little about sedimentary rocks. Yes. So we said it's quite the opposite of igneous rocks when it comes to characteristics with regards to the fact that igneous rocks are crystalline, but sedimentary rocks are not crystalline, as well as they do not uh, form lines of strata, but sedimentary rocks have strata. Now these are rocks formed from the accumulation and hardening of sediments from other weathering rocks and fossils. Now when you look over here at the image, you realize that below here you have a different composition from what is here and then also from what is here and then even so from what is at the very top. Yes. Now over the years, various rocks broke down and compressed along with sand and other fossils along with other dead and decaying organic matter in this combination you have over the years piling up over the years to form certain lines so if the dead organisms and uh, some soil join realize over the years there was a layer formed and then another layer will be formed and then subsequent layers now this is how sedimentary rocks are formed now we look at characteristics of sedimentary rocks. As you can well see from the image, you realize that they contain fossils and they are stratified because over the years, a lot of other layers are added up. Dead and decaying organic matter keep piling on one on top of the other. We say they contain fossils. And then you can even see the strata, that's the lines over the years, which forms in it, yes. Now these lines is what we refer to as the strata. You understand? Very good. So we are saying that these lines is characteristic of sedimentary rocks and they are non-crystalline, unlike igneous rocks. And then also they are relatively softer than igneous rocks because of how they are formed. They can easily be broken apart, you know, by a little pressure. And then also they are resistant to erosion because of the lines of weakness. Remember that the strata is formed from different compositions. This um, line here is different from what forms this line here and then what forms this line here. So any external influence such as flowing water can easily wash away this line which may be weaker than that line. And that is what makes them not resistant to erosion. And they have a dull appearance, as you can well see in, uh, with the rock in the image. And they are relatively softer than igneous rocks. Now with metamorphic rocks, metamorphic, when you hear metamorphic, what comes to mind? Yes, metamorphosis. Yes. Now metamorphosis, what does it mean? Yes, change, change. So we are talking about a change in structure. A change in position, a change in an organism. That's why in biology, elective biology, you learn that 
metamorphosis the organisms metamorphose certain organisms metamorphose so you have a um, butterfly coming out of what a caterpillar house flies coming out of what maggots yes that is what we refer to as metamorphosis a change which has occurred to move something from one state to the other so when we talk about metamorphic rock, what do you think they are yeah they are formed from changes of pre-existing rocks changes happening to these pre-existing rocks will cause the rock to change from the existing rock into a metamorphic rock now what do we mean when you have an ignorant rock over time there will be pressure and intense heat on this type of rock now over the time this rock will break apart and the heat will cause it to change its form into a different rock now the rock that will be formed from this intense heat and pressure is what is known as a metamorphic rock so it can be formed from either igneous rocks or sedimentary rocks when you listen and you hear the names of the rocks it gives you a clue of how they are formed yes so we have igneous rocks we are looking at hot mass hot lava then we have sedimentary rocks sediments they are formed from sediments and then metamorphic rocks from changes happening in other rocks very good so we'll go ahead and look at characteristics of metamorphic rocks now their characteristics you realize that you see because they are formed from changes in ignos or sedimentary rocks you find that they are massive and hard and they may contain fossils depending on which rocks they were formed from so which rocks will have the fossils yes if they were formed from sedimentary rocks they would have fossils and if they were formed from ignos rocks they would have crystals in them very good now they may occur in layers or strata as well as they have a dull and rough appearance now with all these that we've learned why is this so important to us why are we studying rocks so you realize that rocks are very important to us they have a lot of uses for us what are some of the uses you can think of yes so they are used in building construction meaning that they serve as a material for houses for building houses roads bridges and etc so you realize that in almost every construction site they'll go to the quarries and get some stones yes so this is very important in building and then it's a source of fossil fuels now with sedimentary rocks being a typical example we get fossil fuels from it and then they are used in making cement and concrete which is also very important in building now remember that rocks contain minerals now these minerals are essential for us now earlier we mentioned that some of the minerals include uh, silver gold um, and even calcium salt and the rest these are obtained from rocks so you can tell how important rocks is to us now they are source of decoration from stone statues to gemstones in jewelry now when you have beads you realize that these beads some are made from rocks yes and they are very beautiful so you use them in decorating your hands your necklace and all that they are very beautiful they are used in jewelry now gold is obtained from stones that's rocks and this you know the importance yes so some metals are also found in the form of ores in rocks and they are used in making glass which type of rock do you think can be easily used in making glass yes ignos rocks and then they are also used in making sandpaper which rock would be easily used in making sandpaper yes sedimentary rocks that's very good so on this note we come to the end of our lesson for today so for today we looked at how sedimentary and metamorphic rocks are formed characteristics of sedimentary and metamorphic rocks as well as importance of rocks thank you for your attention i believe you've learned a lot well see you in our next class bye